28 town nil, Taunton town nil. Uh, Rob, it's, you know, I mean, what else can you say? 90 minutes at Lodge Road, what do you make of it? Um, I thought, I th- I'm really pleased. It's all positive for me, yeah. to be fair. Okay. Um, to come here after what they've done in their FA Cup run and, yeah. and who they've beat, you know, they beat Solskjaer five two last week. Is to come here and you know we work. They, they play a unique system. They play a, they play a very different way, and it takes a bit of getting grips with on a very big pitch, you know, which became rutted and bobbly after you know as the game wore on. Um, you know, it's pretty, it pretty even first half, to be fair. Um, second half, we're dominant. You know, we should you know we hit the bar. Sully should have scored at the end. Toby's had a couple of really good chances, and I thought we were dominant, you know. Mm. But Barra, you know, I don't think, I don't think uh, Busey's had to make a save in the second half. But no. I thought we were really good. I thought we, we had, there was an element of control to our game in the second half as well. So uh, pleased, really yeah. pleased, really pleased, like you know, because they get everything. It's a very difficult place to go, you know. They're, they're a good side. There's no doubt about it. And do you think there was maybe a they're there for the taking after their five 0 against uh, Yeovil? Do you come no, into that? No, not at all. Or? No, no, not at all. Because you know, Yeovil are, you know. There's a couple of divisions. And I always think when you're playing a non-league Premier side, uh, you know, a national Premier side, you know, I think it's, I think they're the worst to play. You know, you're better off playing a league side because then they're, they're not attuned to the rigours of non-league. So playing somebody like Yeovil, who are very good, like you know, and I don't think that makes any bearing on it. Uh, obviously, we, you know, Jay's. You mentioned a little bit earlier that would just would have looked amazing if, yeah, if it had gone in. And you know, Toby's couple at the end. You and yeah. potentially you only made one substitution with Jared coming on. Um, was there any other cho- choices to maybe make, make a couple more changes? Or uh, I don't think it? so because you know the shape was right. It was very important to be out of possession. Was really important to us today. And uh, so no, I don't think we we need to make any more. You know, the lads were playing. We were playing well. We were in the ascendancy for the whole of the second half. Yeah. So there's no real need. It's good to get Jared on and get some get some minutes in his legs. And uh, but no, overall really pleased. You know, we got a clean sheet away from home. Yeah. And uh, yeah, come the come the last 25 minutes, we're quite unfortunate not to snatch something. Definitely. Uh, we've also got uh, Western our way on Tuesday. Also back home uh, against Gosport next Saturday. What do you make of those two games? Well, it's a big week. You know, it's a big week. We got a couple oh, injured. Um, and as you know, you who you're going to interview uh, in a minute. Um, we needed some extra bodies and some quality. Um, so, yeah, listen, they're, they're, they're tough games. They're, they're, they're tough games, but listen, we're a good squad. We're a good side. You know, I thought we were really good today. You know, it's a tough place to go. You know, so, uh, no, overall, very pleased. We'll dust ourselves down and we'll go again Tuesday. Thanks very much, Rob.